is Ben Webb from Tweed Heads. What else? Age, 31. So my old man, I think he left school when he was maybe 14. He was just hooked on surfing and making boards. And his first job was working for Don Burford from Burford Blanks. And went out on his own. It was around 1985 or something like that. Started up with a couple of different mates, Shaping Co. As a grom, if I wasn't at daycare, I was sitting in the dust in the factory. I dabbled a little bit in my teens. Maybe when I was 14, 15. When I left school, like 19, I was shaping. Definitely began with dad. He's not like a proper teacher, I wouldn't say. I just watched, learnt. He introduced me to heaps of people, passing through the factory, lots of different shapers. Very beginning, I think Dick Brew was in there for a little bit. He came over and he left a bunch of templates and stuff. We had his gear in there and Al Burns was in there. Deanie was in there. He was a really cool guy. I hate the idea of an all-rounder. I think at least having two boards because the waves just change so much. I just like to dabble. Whatever the waves ask for, I ride. Almost don't want to shape if I'm doing what everyone else is doing. It's a big motivation that's kept me going is trying to find my own thing and just stick with it and do what I like and continue learning. And I just keep doing what I'm doing and improving on them as much as I can. Yeah, I was stoked that Craig was interested. I really want to make him a good board. Hello, hey, mate. mate. How are you? Good, good, you? Good, yeah. I'd like to get some ideas while you've been surfing. That one goes really good. Plenty of stuff to look at. Yeah. Is this like the original logo? Yeah, you had like his spray paint artist guy that was here back in the day. He was like a really good artist where that one came from. Watching all those old surf movies and like I jumped on this just for a while. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think like that whole older generation growing up on like this sort of stuff mm -hmm. taught them like good fundamentals and like yeah. flowing your, your bottom turns and the rhythm and everything of it. It's like you almost work with the board more, instead of forcing it, but another 6'3". Definitely a bit more curve, maybe make it a little bit heavier, because you don't yeah. want a light board. I always trip out. You know when people pick up your board and they're like, oh fuck, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, is it? Like, you, know, you realise that sliding is not good. Like, yeah. It feels way better when you're not sliding. Yeah. 6'3 and a half. It's that. Figure out that tail we want to do. A narrow square. Cool looking tail. <laughs> Good do this in a music when you shake. All day. Someone comes in, I'm like, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, seriously. <laughs> uh, I do use a machine at times, but I bounce back and forwards. I think. Um, you get caught up with numbers on a machine. I think it can hold you back sometimes and just to sort of free it up and do a hand shape, you can learn new things. Can I get the, like the black one of the nose? I was thinking about maybe a light purple, really thin on the rails, you know. Black and purple? Black and purple, baby. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. So good. Yeah, it's good. Sick. Looks mental. Purple came out good, eh? How big is it again? Six three. Six three. Maybe a little bit longer. Probably pretty good for out there, eh? A couple S's. It feels so good. What body you got out there? I got one pretty similar. Yeah, Chris and her in. Perfect. I tried to emphasize the rails in a way that held him in, so let loose on it and not have to nurse it at all. Yeah, the board felt good. Nice long rails for drawn out turns. The pulled in tail and glass end fins made it feel like it was never gonna slide out. And it's just all that much more special that it's a hand shape and not a machine pop out.
times, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. 